cheese. Now, let's be honest, it used to be, well, not very good, but now it's actually pretty good. In fact, I think it's very good. So good, I think it's now deserved of a place on a Thanksgiving dinner table. So in this video, we're gonna show you three cheesy Thanksgiving sides. And the first one of those is cheesy Duchess potatoes. First up, dairy-free butter. Make sure that butter is nicely melted. Once your butter's melted, it's time for some dairy-free cheese. That is good quality, melty, vegan cheese. And those little red bits, well, that's a smokiness. Now let's add a little bit of dairy-free cream cheese, some dairy-free cream, and our fave, some nutritional yeast. Right, give that a good old stir until everything is nicely combined. Once your cheese sauce is nice and melted, get some boiled potatoes and pop them in the pan. Now give those potatoes a good stir. Get them covered in that cheese sauce. Oh my days, they look so good. So, so good. Once your potatoes are covered in that wonderful cheese sauce, you're gonna need one of these. This is a stick blender, and it's a great piece of kit. Look at how creamy and cheesy and delicious these look. Once your potatoes are nice and creamy, get a spoon, give it a little taste. Mmm. And season to your liking. Fold that seasoning into the potatoes and we are almost ready to roast. Now it's time to get these wonderful cheesy Duchess potatoes inside that casserole dish. Oh my goodness me. Would you look at that. These might be the cheesiest, creamiest, most unbelievably tasty mashed potatoes you're gonna find. They look delicious and now these bad boys are going into the oven at 180 degrees. 25 minutes until they're nice and crispy on top. Next up, we've got a wonderful cheesy green bean casserole. Now I remember eating green bean casserole in the United States and was blown away by it. So I'm really, really excited to show you this recipe. Now if you've got a food processor with a slicer attachment, that will make this job so much easier. Otherwise you're gonna have to julienne all your green beans with a really sharp knife at an angle. Do this in small batches because it makes it a lot easier. There we go. Our green beans have been well julienned or French cut. They look fantastic. Now our green beans are prepped. It is high time that we make a really nice creamy mushroom sauce to complement this green bean casserole. We're gonna melt some dairy-free butter. In your melted dairy-free butter, you're gonna fry some banana shallots. They're a lot sweeter than regular onions. So now the shallots are caramelizing nicely. It's time to add a little bit of garlic puree or some squashed garlic cloves. Right, that pan is smelling amazing, so we're gonna pop some button mushrooms that we've quartered into the pan. Let these mushrooms sweat down, get some plain flour into the pan that's gonna make a really nice creamy base for this wonderful sauce. Once the flour and the mushrooms and the shallots have all mixed together beautifully, it's time to add in a little bit of moisture in the form of stock. That is looking really good, nice and thick, nice and creamy, but we're not finished yet because this is a cheesy green bean casserole, so we need to get some cheese in. Mix that cheese into the pan until it's all nice and melted. Once the cheese is mixed into everything else that's in the pan, turn the heat off and add in your dairy-free cream. Give the pan a good old stir to make sure everything comes together beautifully. The cooler pan will prevent the cream from separating. Look at how good that looks. Cheesy, mushroomy, it's got a really nice flavor to it and it's gonna complement our French cut green beans beautifully. Give the sauce a little taste. Mm. And then season. It's gonna need a good pinch of pepper and a little bit of salt to help all the flavors come together. Stir that seasoning into the pan. Oh my goodness, look at that, it looks amazing. Now we're gonna add in our green beans. Ooh, yes. Now we wanna gently fold those green beans, which are raw, into that really creamy, mushroomy sauce. That is the texture that we're after. Not too wet, not too dry. So the next stage is to roast them in a casserole dish with a nice breadcrumb crust. All right, smooth the green beans around so you have a nice even top. Right, let's sprinkle the top of the green bean casserole with these really nice crispy breadcrumbs. Look at that. I'm gonna pick that up. So this green bean casserole needs to go into the oven for around about 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius until the top is really nice and crispy. 
And the final recipe in this trilogy of cheesy Thanksgiving sides is cheesy bacon Brussels sprouts. Some people don't like them, some people love them. I personally love them. First things first, we need to roast them. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, and then give them a quick drizzle of olive oil. Not too much. We're gonna pop these in the oven at 180 degrees for around about 25 to 30 minutes until they've started to crisp up. So now our Brussels sprouts are in the oven doing their thing. We're going to make a really nice, cheesy, creamy, bacony sauce. Once your butter's good and melted, get some spring onions in there. And once the spring onions have softened slightly, pop your vegan bacon inside. Turn the heat down in the pan to a very gentle simmer before adding in a little bit of apple cider vinegar for a really wonderful tang. Oh. Now it's time to add the cheesiness to these sprouts. Grated vegan parmesan is going to give a really cheesy tangy note and nutritional yeast, our fave. Now we need to get some liquid into that pan. That liquid is coming in the form of oat cream. Oh yes, that looks amazing and it smells delightful. Give it a quick taste and season. I reckon that needs a touch of salt, a good pinch of pepper, another stir, and our creamy, cheesy, bacony sauce is going to be very, very good. Very good indeed. So the final piece of this Brussels sprout shaped puzzle is a really interesting breadcrumb topping. Vegan bacon. Stir this around in the olive oil until it starts to bubble. This is just some stale bread that was blitzed up in the blender to make nice, chunky breadcrumbs. And to follow on with our cheesy theme, some nutritional yeast. Now, give your cheesy bacon breadcrumb crust a little taste so you can work out how much it needs seasoning. Then add a little bit of salt if it needs it and some pepper. Give it a stir. And the idea here is that it needs to be lightly crispy, not too crispy, because the rest of the crisping is gonna happen in the oven as it's roasting on top of the Brussels sprouts. So the Brussels sprouts are out of the oven and they are looking perfect. Look at that slight little bit of color on there. It got a really nice sort of caramelized edge. Now we've got our absolutely delicious, creamy, cheesy, bacon -y sauce that we're just gonna pop into the pan, gently fold those Brussels sprouts around in that creamy, cheesy sauce that they want to remain intact. You don't want to break them up and they're just gonna be completely covered in this beautiful, cheesy sauce. Now here are our super simple, cheesy bacon breadcrumbs. Look at these, this is going to be a magnificent dish. And there we go, ready for the oven. We're gonna pop these in the oven for around about eight to 10 minutes. We're gonna keep our eye on them, make sure that they don't get too dark. Uh, but the idea is that these breadcrumbs need to be golden and they need to be warm through all the way. So there you have it, three Thanksgiving sides that are fully loaded with vegan cheese. As we said before, vegan cheese is pretty good now which means these are gonna be very good. Let's see what Henry thinks. I'm impressed that you managed to whip all of these up. I know, yeah, and also they're all very different. A cheesy Brussels sprout bake with bacon. We did a really cool <laughs> little breadcrumb crust, but with pieces of bacon in the breadcrumb. Mm. This one's gonna to have to be good though. Yes, because I'm not a big fan of Brussels sprouts. So, well, I mean, do you know what? I, I, I hold hope. Okay. Mm. This is cheesy Duchess potatoes, which is basically all the cheese, all the cream, <laughs> all the nuke all in there together, and trust me, this is delicious. I mean, what's not to like, exactly. And last but not least, we've got this wonderful green bean casserole, oh, which wow. is laced with mushrooms, and it's got this lovely crusty top. Amazing. I'm got chest potatoes. Oh, why not, why I not? I know I'm gonna like this one, so, setting myself up for a win. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> that is a good thing. That's like the best mashed potato one could possibly hope for. So smooth, so creamy, so cheesy. Let's see how you pimped out these Brussels and if that bacon can kind of, you know, win me over. Mm -hmm. So you've got the, the nice crisp of those breadcrumbs and those slightly quirky tasting vegetable Brussels sprouts. They work well together. Yeah, and Brussels sprouts done proper. <laughs> this uh, green bean casserole is probably the most traditional of the lot. Mm. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. Very crunchy top. Yes. Very smooth innards. Mm -hmm. Um, I really, really like the fact that you've got those green beans in there and the mushrooms as well. They yep. work really well together. Yeah, there's not loads and loads of cheese, it's just mm. a hint of it. That would go perfectly on the side of my roast dinner plate. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed cooking this for you guys today, and we hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, you enjoyed cooking it, I enjoyed eating it. Good. So thank you for that, You're and welcome. thank you all for giving you thanks for being here. Guys, we'll see you again soon. Peace. <laughs>